Hi there, my name is Macon Campbell and welcome to my workshop. Hi, so today we're going to try and build this. Uh, this being a guitar hanger. This particular one was made by me. Uh, I did the design on Coral Draw and cut it out on my laser. If you're interested in this particular model, uh, just drop me a message in the comments and I'll be more than happy to share it. Well, this one, as you can see, is made of super wood and I just sprayed it black. Um, the one I'm going to be making today is going to be made from hardwood and, in my case, teak. So the idea I had was pretty similar to this one, uh, in which that it would have a back part, a top part and two sides. And uh, the sides would be held onto the top with dovetails and the top would be held onto the back with dovetails and the sides would be held onto the back with dovetails as well. So going into this I had a very clear picture of what it is that I wanted to end up with and uh, obviously I ended up with something totally different. Only after I started doing this I realized that uh, I bit off a bit more than I could chew seeing as I haven't even cut a dovetail before. So join me on this journey and see what we ended up with. So the first thing I need to do is get my boards roughly straight and uh, down to the right thickness. Uh, they started at about 25 millimeters and I needed them at 15 millimeters. Uh, seeing as I don't have a jointer or a thickness planer, I attempted to resaw them on the bandsaw and I was pleasantly surprised at how well they turned out. It would appear I've run into some problems here. I actually cut two of these pieces, which uh, 
we're gonna be the back plate for uh, the guitar hanger. And uh, off camera, I wanted to cut these dovetails to see uh, if they'd work. What I did is I angled my bandsaw to this angle and I cut these two out, after which I took my handsaw and did the other cuts. And while I was trying to take this piece out, I obviously broke it off. So back to Coral Draw and redesign my template so that I have marks for the small side of the dovetail so I can cut them out straight, after which I can just go in and cut out the last piece of the triangle to complete the dovetail. Once I did that, I realized I had a problem. As you can see here, the top dovetail interferes with the one on the left and on the right, which means that if I cut this dovetail and that dovetail, this block over here is most probably gonna fall out. So, uh, to save this, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this dovetail out, which means I'm gonna have to cut these off. So I'll only have these two at the bottom here, uh, but that should be okay because there's gonna be a dovetail top here that's gonna stick in there. So, uh, I'm gonna glue this one on here. And, uh... Let's give it a go. This right here is my new Chinese pull saw, seeing as I don't have a Japanese pull saw. It's uh, just a hacksaw mounted in reverse, uh, so it cuts on the pull stroke just like the real thing. There you see me throwing a hissy fit because my project isn't turning out as planned. I'm doing my utmost to explain that to the camera, but I'm doing a piss poor job of it. So in a nutshell, two of my pieces had uh, cracks running through them, so I had to mend them with super glue. And to add insult to injury, I had made a miscalculation on the measurement of my side pieces, so they weren't fitting together like they were supposed to. So I decided to scrap the side pieces and only go with the top and the back but not before using them to mark out the curves that I needed to cut to uh, remove the dovetails. And actually, I think this turned out much better than my original idea. And once again, all was right with the world.
Well, as you can see, uh, I started out with a very clear idea and uh, circumstances and stupidity forced me to change my idea twice. All in all, I'm very much liking the end result and so far it's performing exactly as expected. I'm going to try and upload build videos more regularly, so if you'd like to see those, please subscribe. If you'd like to see some behind the scenes pictures and other products that don't make it to YouTube, you can follow me on my Instagram at Megan Campbell or on Facebook under MC's Garage. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.